Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here. Happy holidays. I hope that you guys are doing well and staying safe. I'm going to go ahead and do a general Virgo reading, so be sure to tap in. Stay to the end of the video to get all of your Virgo messages. Okay. I heard something about speed or doing something in a timely fashion or maybe with some speed. Maybe something requires a little bit more action or whatever this is. Okay, so we have the Hermit. I don't want to take any cards that are in the cross position. So the World card. Okay, something is speeding up pertaining to a closeout of a cycle. Okay, something ending. Or maybe this is about travel. Something online. Okay, there's something that could be happening with investigation. Closing out. Or something being investigated online or being sought out. Okay. We have the three of cups. I feel like somebody here called some somebody. Okay, somebody here is calling out of jealousy to have something investigated or somebody investigated, okay? This woman, she's unhappy with a, a masculine, her friend, a coworker, or whomever this is. She feels like she, she made a big mistake investing in somebody, okay? The death card. Somebody here wants something to end, and they're calling in some sort of authorities or whatever this is out of jealousy and anger. Okay. I feel like somebody needs to give it up. Can I clarify? Actually not clarify, but add a card. There's some sort of good news to something. I feel like somebody knows that something is ending here. Whoever this masculine is, this could be an air sign masculine, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got Leo, water sign, and fire. There's some sort of news that's coming towards you here. It has something to do with making peace with the past, okay? No more bitterness or somebody wants to address maybe the way that you have felt that they didn't get to at that time. Yep. Somebody wants to put some things into place where they feel like they, they have control over something. Because right now, the way that things are with the Six of Wands, somebody here, whoever this Aries is, they feel like they don't have a lot of shit in control. And I feel like there's an a, a unfair type of situation where somebody deems something to be not fair. Somebody's actually heartbroken that they've had to uh, walk away from this connection somebody here is in regret about something here because somebody feels like y'all had a good thing even though um it didn't really last long or it lasted as long as it needed to last but i feel like somebody here needed to take a look within themselves to release a lot of the things that um may have allowed them to, to choose wrong okay somebody here could have been threatened with some sort of weapon or somebody here might have did something drastic. There could have been a murder here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and clarify the cards that are in reverse. I'm going to see if y'all can get up close and personal to see what's going on. Holy Spirit Divine. Who is this third party and what is the intentions? Who is this third party? And what are the intentions? Three of cups in reverse. We have the moon. This is somebody that um, may have discussed a lot of things to a Piscean energy. Okay, there's some sort of illusion about um, feelings, love, fulfillment, emotional awakening. 
Somebody here is talking about their feelings for somebody, okay? And I feel like it's it's making them feel like there's there's some form of hope, okay? Success, determination. I feel like um, Cancerian, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be significant as well as Pisces. The number seven and 18 could be significant. Somebody's uh, birthday could be July 18th, okay? Somebody's birthday is July 18th. I feel like somebody is moving towards a direction that brings them some sort of focus, success, or determination. But I feel like somebody here plays a lot of mind games. Clarify this page of swords in reverse to the chariot. Yep. I feel like until somebody grows up, you won't see any sort of like movement in the right direction. But I feel like this is somebody's aim, however. Yeah, somebody is, is on the verge of gaining some sort of success, recognition, or reward, or this is what somebody wants. I feel like somebody's going to understand that they made the wrong decision to let you go or vice versa, Virgo. What's the world card? Can we clarify the world card? Even though it's not in the reverse, I want to see what this is about. What's the world card? Okay. So I feel like even though something has been over or a cycle has been completed, somebody here has still been watching you or looking um, to see what's going on. They could be looking at your social media. I feel like there's some sort of justice or something will be won here. Somebody feels like they've won or they will win. Somebody here still is attracted to you very heavily, but I feel like... They're in hermit mode to try to regain some sort of like consciousness of this connection, I feel. What is this page of swords? Tell me more. Somebody is definitely in their head over something. This might be pertaining to communication or feeling like they have to protect themselves. Clarifying the page of swords, we have the two of wands, Aries energy, and the Taurus, um, six of pentacles. Uh, yes. Six of Pentacles. At, in the middle of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Somebody is letting go of the anxiety to recover in order to become the single woman or man or whatever this is. Okay. I'm getting... Um, somebody's realizing now that they're that they're in a space where they're single or whatever the case may be, that they're looking for a divine feminine and or masculine. Somebody's ready to give equally and to love equally. Or somebody wants to feel the type of energy. Somebody here could be avoiding any risk to do this here. Somebody lacks courage to stand on what, what it is that they say they're going to do. Somebody says that they might do it or they even mention it, but can't find themselves to, to, to bring it into fruition. There's a lot of like confusing communication that's going on or somebody that's holding out on like holding themselves accountable to doing something. Let's see. Somebody, um, their name could start with um, the letter L, but I'm hearing Shante. Message for Virgo. We have bully in reverse. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have mediator. So somebody is concealing some sort of deep fear behind verbal or physical abuse. Somebody here is being verbally or physically abused by a person. And I feel like there is a thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. But with this mediator energy, somebody here wants things to be neutral, to be fair, to strategize, to make sure that each person on either side 
is respected. Okay, somebody here may need to seek out counseling. If this is a friendship or a marriage or whatever this is, whatever partnership that this is, somebody needs to seek out counseling or talk about this. Somebody here could be a victim of, of abuse, verbally or physically. And there's different types of abuse. Somebody's hiding the fact that they're dealing with this in their daily life or that they've gone through that. And this could be setting somebody back from trusting people. Who is this person that might have gone through, that you might have gone through verbal or physical abuse with? Who is this person? And what is the turnout? Somebody is actually connected to a person right now. Okay. This could be somebody of the justice system. I feel like somebody feels lost when it comes to their intuition. I feel like there's some sort of change intuitively that's going to happen. Somebody is a part of an unhealthy relationship. Damn. This could be a Libra here. Somebody may need to get the authorities involved because somebody talks a good game when they don't want to get in trouble or they don't want to risk their relationship. But what's this justice card here? We have the seven of swords in reverse. Some, there's some sort of truth revealed behind um, control, success, or um, willpower. Somebody here has to be the dominant individual. I feel like that's the only way that somebody feels as if something is going to last, but it's actually breaking a relationship down further. Okay. Somebody's at risk for losing everything, their job, um, financial, uh, or family support or any loose foundations pertaining to a friendship or relationship. Things are being stagnated for a person because they won't change. They won't do what's right to allow something to get better before it gets worse. Okay. The number seven and six could also be significant. Let's see here. Message for Virgo. All right, so we do have openness. Somebody's very closed off. Somebody's afraid to reveal, you know, being vulnerable or having vulnerability, knowing what that feels like. Somebody's very unhappy and lacks fulfillment right now and is praying for a miracle when it comes to love. Somebody's trying to find a sign in order to gain security or to have security or whatever this is or how they're able to kind of let loose to be secure but not holding on to security so tightly, right? Somebody just doesn't feel welcome or loved. Okay, there's a lot of chaos. As you can see, the cards are kind of shuffling everywhere, right? There's a lot going on. Somebody just doesn't feel comfortable. Wherever it is that you're at or they're at, somebody here is just not comfortable, okay? And it's going to take time to to get to that stage. Okay, so we have material and spiritual prosperity is here for you. So there are things that are coming up in the on the horizon for you. Okay, I do see financial and material changes a positive movement forward and power. Okay. The numbers 588 could be significant. Yeah. I feel like because you're learning to stand your ground and not putting up with anything or everything, you are stabilizing your foundation. Okay. But you feel like you're also not being um, given the respect and the recognition that you deserve. Okay. But I feel like that doesn't do anything for your self-esteem. Your self-esteem is still intact. However, you still want to demand respect from those that you feel you've, you've done your door deals. You've done your due diligence to earn it. 
okay? Somebody here could be moving in with their spouse or getting a new place or thinking about the future or what the future holds. Somebody is not ready yet to make a decision surrounding um, something. Somebody still needs to do the shadow work that's required of them to get out of suffering in silence or for some sort of truth to be revealed about how they're feeling emotionally. Okay, spirit is telling you to choose wisely when it comes to the people that you encounter or decide to be intimate with. Okay, because somebody here is not connected to the universe and that should call cause for um, for a pause because somebody is trying to use you celebrating and rejoicing um, under some sort of accomplishments to disrupt your life. Okay, really do the shadow work. Okay, that's what spirit is saying here. What is it that your spiritual team wants you to know currently? For Virgo. Okay, so we do have forgiveness. Somebody's not ready but needs to formulate some sort of like action being taken to release any anger, envy, or um, unresolved emotions for something or somebody. Okay, I'm seeing not the right time. Something here is not the right time, but an opportunity will be presented to you within the next few weeks. Okay, something here is no longer up to you when it comes to not reconsidering something, but you need to communicate clearly. Okay, something is a no here. I heard not in contact, so you could be staying away from somebody or somebody is staying away from you, okay? We have let go of the past. Clear your energy to allow more love in your life. We have third party, so you may be dealing with a karmic situation, physical connections, the sacred union of bodies to becoming one. And we have um, love language, physical touch. So a tender touch means so much. So somebody here, their love language is physical touch or a physical connection. I feel like this is how somebody is able to connect with you on a deeper level. Okay, dreams come true. Have faith that your rainbow will come smiling through because true love is on the horizon or is here for you. Okay, you are worth waiting for. It's how somebody feels when it comes to you or you, them. Let's see. What's this third party energy? What's this third party? You may be dealing with a karmic situation. Okay, this is somebody that's a juggler. Somebody that, that doesn't like making... Um, decisions, they kind of go with both. I feel like this needs resolution surrounding this, this type of person. With the four of cups to the knight of wands, we have the devil here. So there's some sort of soul tie or somebody um, that's codependent on this, this connection or to you in some way, shape or form. I feel like with the four of cups, somebody here is um, kind of revising, maybe thinking that you weren't, you weren't, the person that they should have walked away from. Somebody is angry about the situation or themselves, and now they, they want to fix this, or you might want to, but somebody could be blocked here, okay? Or there's a blockage in, in two people uh, having the opportunity to speak, and that could be closing out a, forcing a close out on a relationship or some sort of dynamic. Somebody lives in Ohio. I keep getting Toledo, Ohio. I heard camping. Um, there could be some sort of resort that somebody wants to go on, okay, with their spouse or their, their, their lover. I'm also here in Columbus. Is this where somebody, somebody lives? Or is this somebody's name?
Can we clarify the two of pentacles for this third part? If somebody here is dibbling and dabbling with more than one person. This could be an earth sign. I feel like somebody here is coming into awareness of this or is being made aware at this time. Okay, and this may cause you to release someone. This could be a Capricorn or a, a Leo Virgo Cusper. I feel like this is not going to get anywhere if you can't trust this person or if you guys are not on the same page. I feel like somebody's educating their right to understand spiritually what's going on and, and sharing their your story if that's something that you decide to do with some sort of truth. Okay. Or clarity. Let's see. Message for Virgo. Okay, so you're not really chasing after anybody or nobody's really chasing after you. But somebody definitely is trying to trap you with um, a child, money, or your feelings. Somebody just wants to toy around with you to get some sort of love affair to connect here. I feel like this could be a trigger for you or this person. Take it how it resonates. Somebody's playing mind games to get what they want, which is sex. They want physical intimacy, okay? All right, so the overall energy here is that something here could have been in the recent past. Somebody didn't appreciate or um, show gratitude when it comes to you, and I feel like you had to break this pattern that was going on here, okay? I feel like you had to put your guard up because somebody wasn't willing to allow you to let them down, okay? So you need to remember that the next time you decide to make a wrong decision to let somebody in. Somebody here almost wasn't satisfied with what they had because um, they were always out there chasing the next best thing from this, this dirty karmic, okay? I heard stay connected. We have forgiveness. There's something that's unforgivable. Tell me more. I heard mystery. So somebody's trying to figure something out or somebody sees you as very mysterious or you might see them like this. Okay, somebody wants to know what you're up to. Somebody here could be pulling an all-nighter or staying up very late. Somebody here could be have a forearm tattoo. Okay, somebody could be faking a medical or terminal illness. Okay, we have a reporting an incident. We also have deception. Forgive yourself time. Forgive, no, it says give yourself time to grieve your past relationships. Okay, it could have something to do with deception. Yeah, somebody is very entitled. Okay, somebody here could be um, placed under arrest. I heard the, the word equity. Okay. We have the witch doctor. Somebody here is getting wisdom or some sort of enlightenment illusion of illusions being removed by a spiritual practitioner. Somebody's inquiring about some sort of truth or awareness. Okay. I'm also seeing key. So yeah, the answers are appearing to you or this person or both of you to uh, keep something moving or to keep coming. I feel like somebody's coming into fruition of the truth that brings happiness, but happiness starts with you. We have gratitude rampage in reverse. It's already happened. Something is being withheld from happening, okay? Because somebody's not expressing daily gratitude for something, okay? Start writing down the things that you're um, releasing gratitude for. Start saying and speaking them into existence, okay, for you to come into um, some sort of union here. Somebody could be in love with you secretly, okay, or you in love with them.
tell me more for Virgo? Wow, finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life with this arrow. And there are going to be some beautiful changes here. We're going to clarify them in a second. We have dog close up pleasure with a close friend. This wish will not be granted. Somebody here wants to have a have a, the time of their lives with you. Okay? But that wish will not be granted. Okay? Because somebody doesn't have the best of intentions for you. Okay? Tell me more. We have dog far away. So there's a distant friend that's thinking about having fun with you. Okay? Or, or celebrating something. You know, sharing their time with you. Okay? We have a major challenge to overcome. But I do see wealth showing up here. Let's go ahead and clarify what this finger energy is. Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. What's this finger? This has something to do with releasing somebody or letting somebody go. Um, there is a jealous woman, queen of wands, okay, that may be revealing some sort of secret pertaining to um, this person manipulating you into something. OK, somebody could be manipulating you to, to release secrets or to tell them things. OK, so that they can repeat it here. Let's see. Somebody here could be like having an onset headache out of nowhere. It just starts. What's the six of cups in reverse? with this finger, the six of cups in reverse with this finger. Okay. So I see letting go of anxiety. Somebody here needs to let go of anxiety, especially if it's um, surrounding a relationship that they want to establish or have. Cause I feel like this could be setting you into this defense mechanism by trying to protect yourself. And it could cause a lot of co communication issues. Okay. Let's see. What is this dog far away? There's a distant friend that's thinking of you. Okay. Who is this distant friend that's thinking about you, Virgo? It's somebody that ha holds a lot of emotions or feelings towards you. This person loves you here. Okay. Like I said, the two of cups and the three of pentacles, this person wants to collaborate with you. Okay. But they're not really sure of how you feel. Okay. This might be a lot to, to spring on you or that you both might have to think about, but I think that ultimately it's been a challenge trying to come to you because of all the competition that's behind the scenes. Okay. Or somebody here might feel as if because they have a family dynamic, this person that they used to deal with or date might not be all the way on board with um, accepting this relationship coming back together again. Okay. So it's like the separation is still intact here. All right. Can we clarify the ace of cups? Why is the ace of cups here for this distant friend that's thinking about you? I heard loser and gateway. Um, we have, um, the three of wands. Somebody is trying to find the right time to move forward or to gain some sort of opportunity to advance. I told you there's some sort of quick movement. Remember I said that fast movement. Somebody is coming in fast with some sort of uh, movement or communication. I feel like this person is coming out of their own head or some sort of entrapped energy to come towards you. The three of wands is showing up twice. That is confirmation for somebody. Okay. Somebody can no longer hold their emotions or feelings from you. Okay. This person wants to express them to you. Page of cups. This person could have a very funny way of communicating with you. Okay. And you got to take it for what it is because this person doesn't like repeating themselves more than one time. All right. But this person is learning along the way or has a lot to learn from you. Let's see here, Holy Spirit. Let 
message. Message for Virgo. Somebody here needs to purify their energy and their aura. Somebody's sending negative energy, or maybe you need to just like cleanse your energy altogether. Okay. I do see, pay attention to signs and synchronicities that the universe is sending you. Okay. Somebody that you might not have been close to, I feel like they're coming back in, but they're lying. Somebody's lying about something that's happening behind the scenes here. And I feel like they, they feel the need to lie, or you may feel the need to lie because you don't want to be dismissed or to be blocked out. Okay. Somebody here is going to need to show appreciation when it comes to you or you them. Okay. We have cuffing season in reverse. So somebody here is not being locked down in a relationship. I feel like somebody is trying to um, separate themselves from something pertaining to Christmas. Okay. I'm also getting that somebody could be trying to use mirror magic or spell work through occultic practices to um, find out what you're doing. Somebody wants to know what you're up to. Somebody here could have done something for you to... Um, for something about your mirror, okay? Somebody can see what it is that's going on through a mirror or a mirrored energy, okay? There's an upgrade that's about to come in, and I feel like you need not to be stubborn when it comes to this, okay? Let's see here. Tell me more. I'm hearing that song by Khaled, Young, Dumb, and Broke. Okay. I'm hearing that. Okay. Somebody here is not releasing enough to surrender. Okay. I feel like you're in complete balance. I heard restoration period. So you're restoring balance. Somebody here is not surrendering to something. Maybe some sort of anxiety that you have. Somebody's unhappy with, with something here. I feel like the only way that you get somebody's attention is through sexual energy. Okay. Okay, we have frustration in reverse. So somebody here is getting over a fresh frustrated energy or period in their life. I feel like there's some sort of like strength that you're finding. There is some sort of newfound strength and happiness that happens to you unconsciously. Okay. I feel like somebody's picking up on doing something for you or you doing something for yourself. It's like you, you're giving yourself the attention that you need or somebody's doing this for you. I feel like there's going to be some sort of gift that's being given, that's going to trigger another person that's watching this all go down, okay? There's some form of success that's happening unconsciously, okay? Or subconsciously, whatever. What are the dark confessions from your person? They feel unbalanced and uneasy. They don't know what to do. Somebody's name is Patrick. There are feelings inside of, inside of them that's pertaining to anger that they need to release before they explode. It's difficult for them to process their emotions. They're not ready right now. They can't be vulnerable with you. They'd rather hide in the darkness before they let you see inside them. Okay. Let's see here. What's making this person so angry? Why is somebody so angry? I already knew this because I've seen it. Okay, somebody is angry because they have a lot of built up sexual energy when it comes to you or this person wants a fresh start. Somebody loves the way that you used to make them feel and they're tired of waiting. Okay, they're tired of acting like you don't entice them. 
It's like it's bringing them to want to take a step in the right direction to um, get in touch with the unknown. Okay. That's what I'm picking up here. Somebody is sexually attracted to you. Somebody here wants you to jerk them off. Or somebody just likes the way that you touch them or make them feel or whatever this is here. Somebody here feels like there's a lot of sparks without you even having to touch them here, okay? I told you there's something about that song by Brandy. It's called When You Touch Me. Really miss you, babe. In ways you touch me, I can't hardly wait till you touch me. How I want you so. For the things that make me lose control. Soon as I see you, babe, I'm gonna ask you for sure. Would you please touch me? I love that song. I think that that song was off of Full Moon. Let's see. Tell me more about this uh, Ace of Wands energy. The Lovers is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody has a soul tied connection with you. They can't get over this here, but they're not. They don't want to talk about it. They don't like talking about it. Okay. Or there's a lot of miscommunication or unproductive settlements that's going on here. Okay. Somebody feels like you are the missed opportunity that they kind of don't want to talk about. Okay. But they're coming towards you with some sort of offer. Knight of Cups. Let's see. Okay, so there's a massive regret in reverse. Somebody doesn't regret the way that somebody has seen something unfold, but they do miss you. Okay. Somebody doesn't want to say goodbye. I'm hearing that song by boy. I think it's boys to men. Um, how do I say goodbye? But it's the part where the guy goes and I'll take with me the memories to be my sunshine after the rain. Hmm. Somebody could possibly have a love child either on the way or already came into fruition here. We have Queen B in reverse. Somebody could have been insecure with themselves because they lacked confidence or they didn't have what they have now. Somebody, somebody here wasn't attracted to who you were, but they are of who you are now. OK, somebody here knows that they can't throw shade at somebody here because they used trappings to get a romance started in the first place. OK, and now somebody here that used trappings to keep somebody doesn't know how to keep them because all this person wants to do is escape from the ass. OK, that's real shit, real tea. All shade intended. Period. Somebody's getting readings on a person or what spiritual um, gifts that you have, but they're not able to speak on it. Whoever this reader is, they cannot speak on it. They are not permitted to tell this person any sort of information pertaining to your spiritual uh, teachings or whatever the case may be. Okay. That's what I'm picking up here. This karmic, she's trying to figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are. Okay. Girl fight. We have arguments, karmic friends, enforcer. Somebody's trying to force a person to give them their money or to give a person an, an amount of money. This could be causing a lot of fights, arguments, or competition. You know what I'm seeing? That somebody's going around flaunting a man's money and acting like they made that money. 
Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. We have bad habits, drugs, addictions, toxicities, etc. Okay. Somebody is trying to steal your ideas, copies your work, or duplicates anything that you do, feeds off of your energy. When this is who they are, they are a bad habit. Somebody is dropping a person or trying to drop somebody that is a bad habit. I see moving. Somebody here could be moving as well. Okay, so somebody is broke, I told you. Somebody is broke or assumes that you're broke. Take it how it resonates. I feel like somebody's trying to get you not to dodge them or any negativities that they have, okay? I feel like somebody wants to know more about you. Somebody's bothered that they don't know what's going on with you or that something is secretive about what you got going on. You're keeping a low profile. That's what bothers them. You keeping a low profile bothers and triggers this person. Let's see here. Somebody is going to be required to sign some sort of documentation or to be presented with some sort of inheritance. Okay. We have status in a relationship. Somebody could be in a relationship here. We have uh, demeanor, Jezebel, spirit, and we have the chosen one, empath, spiritual gift. Okay? Somebody can't generate the same amount of, of energy that you can. You're about to, like, boss up in your career. Okay? We have surprise. A major change is going to take place or happen for you. Okay, you were delivered from any type of spiritual warfare that you could have encountered here. Somebody's trying to intimidate a person from um, testifying against them. Okay, so God works in mysterious ways. Okay, knowledge is power. And I do have curse. Somebody is trying to make sure that you are cursed. I feel like this has something to do with your money and your gifts. Somebody wants to know what your strengths and weaknesses are to be able to undermine you so you won't get a chance to use your spiritual abilities. Okay? Somebody has a lot of outer insecurities, and I feel like somebody's trying to shoot their shot, but it's in their head a lot of the time. All right? Anyway, let's see what's going on. There's some sort of unexpected income that's coming in. It's on its way. Okay, so we have change. There's some sort of changes that's happening within your environment or for you. Okay, this could be a new car, new home, um, a new whatever this is here, okay? This could be a new job even, because I do see occupation here. I'm also seeing message of concern. So something is concerning pertaining to your um, stability or whatever this is. Somebody here is not in any bad health. This could be pertaining to other people and their opinions or what they think is going on or whatever the case may be. Somebody here... Um, has never met your family or anybody outside of you. And somebody's starting to begin to, to uh, wonder, like, why are you so far away from your person or your, your family dynamic? Somebody here could be keeping their distance from their family because um, their family is karmic. Somebody's trying to use delays, particularly speaking spiritually, to um, keep somebody needing help or asking for help, okay? I feel like somebody's about to come into some sort of courtship. Remember, I did say court. So it does have to do with some sort of like um, contract with somebody. This could be a relationship that's coming in. Somebody's name could be Courtney. 
we have expectations. So you're, you're looking for something to come in. I feel like it's going to happen very soon. Okay. Somebody here may not be allowing a person to come to their home. Okay. But I do see here that something's going to work itself out. Somebody's going to give you or bring some sort of uh, great fortune or something that, that, uh, you may be able to, to make money from. Okay. That's what I'm picking up here. Somebody has to deliver some sort of great fortune to you. Okay. The number is nine, 14 and 28 could be significant here. Somebody could be born September 14th or the 28th. All right. Let's see. Let's see. There's a blessing that's on the horizon that's on its way to you. I feel like everybody's going to know about this blessing, okay, because you are blessed and you accept nothing less than whatever you, you are receiving or about to come into. The number 66 could be significant. Somebody could be born 1966. I feel like you're doing something by your lonesome. You're turning down some sort of collaborative um, efforts. We have saving, endorsement in reverse, and pride. Somebody here, right, was pre presented with some sort of bribery to go into your checking to release money or to extort you from your money. What the heck is this? Okay, this is somebody that has a very low self-esteem and has no strategy to gain or earn money that they work hard for. I feel like somebody here was asked, like, if you do this for me, I will give you like a cut out of it. Yeah, somebody was supposed to get a cut out of some sort of money that was yours or meant to, to be issued to you. I feel like somebody was hoping and wishing that some sort of attention would be drawn to you out of this dark energy that was supposed to be tied to you here for this money. Okay. I feel like somebody here may have went out of their way to cause an injustice for you. This is somebody that you trusted for you to go through a loss. Okay, somebody here is not your friend. This is a friend that did this to you. Or somebody that you knew. There is an apology that somebody wants to give you or you're giving somebody, but you're hesitating because you're in a good place or you're about to be. Okay, I heard milk. We have truck. Somebody here could drive a truck. Whoever this person is, they have some sort of demonic attachment to them. Okay, so we have monogamy. Somebody here could be in a monogamous relationship or wants one. This person could be a drug lord or kingpin. There could be some sort of tragedy that's happening to this person or pertaining to this individual. Okay, we have a female co-worker and we have starting a family or blending families here. Somebody here could have wanted to start a family or have a family, they're going through a miscarriage. Okay, somebody is definitely involved with stepchildren. Okay, somebody here is potentially a future husband or wife. Remember I said settlement? Okay, there's some sort of court settlement pertaining to um, stepchildren or um, their spouse having um, joint or full custody to stepchildren or a stepchild or whatever the case may be here. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we do have that somebody's madly in love with you or you're in love with them. They could be away on business. 
This could be a fraudulent business. This person does have a curable STD currently. Or this could be you here. Take it as it resonates. Somebody here is in the dating stage but working their way up to a monogamous relationship. Somebody here could be trying to threaten you because you're dealing with a particular person and they may have found out that you are moving in. Somebody could be downplaying the relationship to a particular individual saying that they're just dating around. It's not serious, but obviously it is because a big purchase has been made or will be made. I feel like this is the same mature man that's bringing in some sort of like great fortune to you. Um, so be aware of that. We have karmic entity or a, a, um, karma is going towards somebody's children. Okay. This could be a three, um, a three person family or whatever this is. Somebody has you on three way. Okay. Somebody's going to call you with a third party on the phone to check in whoever this person is they're they're hiding from you. Okay. This could have something to do with a trans male. Somebody here wants to trust the process between you and this person or them telling you that they've been talking to their ex, but only as friends or whatever the case may be. Okay. There's some sort of incoming text. If somebody is leaving a person on red. It's going to make them so angry. Okay. Somebody doesn't like being left on red. Okay. This person feels like you really don't give a shit when you leave them on red here. I don't even think I pulled these cards. Did I? Yes, I did. I think I'm going to stop here, Virgo. We have everything that we need currently. So, yeah, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.